Hello, today is April 15th, 2021. Welcome to my raptor watching video. Where is the osprey? Let me try to see if I can find him here. Oh, there he is. Welcome to my osprey watching video. And here is the male osprey from nest number three. And he is standing on this tree branch right behind the lake. And I'm going to see if I can get a little bit closer to him. Okay, yeah, so he's actually closing his eyes and opening them again. That's a good sign. Eh, sometimes it's hard to get it into focus here. Yes, yeah, so there is Osprey from nest number three. Right there, and there's a uh, father and a daughter walking underneath this osprey. And the osprey didn't even flinch. Now the the couple stopped. They stopped moving. Oh no! Move along, move along, move along, people. Don't stand right there. Too long. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Okay, the osprey's still there. Phew. I'm gonna hang out with you for a little while, okay, osprey? Is that cool? No, no. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, no. Where is he going? Where is the osprey going? I know it wasn't because of me. It couldn't have been. I always think it is, but... Oh, no. Why'd you do that, Osprey? Why'd you do that to me? So it must be because I'm talking. That Osprey just doesn't like me talking. It's okay, Osprey. It's alright. Uh, what's the matter with you, Osprey? You should know who I am. He did this before. This Osprey did this before. Yes, he did. Huh. What's the matter with you? Okay, let's take a look again. Right? Oh, no, no, he didn't like that. He didn't like me getting that close. He is quite a shy one. Okay, I'm still going to try. I'm still going to try to film. Okay, so I went to west, or uh, I went to nest number two since the male flew off and decided to hunt elsewhere. Yeah, I guess that male doesn't like me. Alright, so I'm just going to film this female instead. Female osprey? Yeah, I believe so. Please don't fly off from me. Please don't fly off. Just let me film you. We're good, good, good. All right. So the question is, what should I name this osprey? This was a question that I haven't been able to answer yet. I mean, this is a. Uh, Really tolerant osprey, I'd say. Probably more tolerant than the other osprey that I've seen, at least. So, that's a good thing. And she's just hanging out at the nest. Isn't that great? I think that's great. And I've got good focus on my camera, which is great. This is about as good as I'm going to get as far as the angle goes, because if I get too close, then you're not going to be able to see the osprey at all. So I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this spot. Uh, you know, I'll just stay here for a while. Oh, I need to tell you about skill stock. Okay, so 
Skills has actually fallen to $15 a share. So I'm actually losing a colossal amount of money right now. But I know it's going to go back up very, very soon. And they say it's going to hit as low as $14. I can't imagine it hitting any lower than that. But I did buy more shares at $17 a share, but afterwards I end up seeing it drop even further. So we'll just have to wait and see how things go in the future. My 1,230 shares that I own at least. Yeah, I bought some of those at a price that was just way too high. I, mean, I bought, bought like 200 shares at 23 and then there was like some more shares I bought at 21? Was it 21? Yeah. And now it's fallen to 15. And now I don't have enough margin to be able to buy any more shares. <laughs> no, there's no babies in there yet. It's too, it's too soon in the season. Yeah. So there. You said an owl? Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, sometimes I have heard him, but I think he's probably like in that direction. Like the sound sounds like it was coming from that direction. Not today, but like weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, so there are also owls here too. Now they're they're great horned owls. So that's one thing that the osprey have to worry about. I mean, last year at the nest that's behind me over there, nest number one, the I heard a great horned owl many many times, and I think that it's possible that one of the nestlings was snatched by um, that great horned owl. So even though they're on a safe platform, they are there, you know, they build their nest on these light poles here. The biggest concern is that great horned owls can easily see these nests. They're out in the wide open. So when the osprey start laying their eggs and everything, they're going to have to be extra, extra, extra protective. Like extra protective for sure. So yeah, so my plan is that, um, so about, about skill stock, I just want to get back into skills. So I just, I just need to just start saving up all my money. I can't spend money on nothing. I can't purchase anything online. I, I don't even want to try to pay the full credit card bills. Like I need to get that money into my brokerage account ASAP. Because I need to buy at least like a couple hundred shares to even out my average so that my average isn't so high. Because what if it takes a long time for the stock to hit $21 a share again? Is it going to hit $21 a share anytime soon? I don't know. So that's the one thing that concerns me the most. Okay, so I'm going to just do my own thing and I'm not going to really say anything at this point. I'm just going to let you let you watch the osprey. Now, I could pick a better angle. This angle isn't really like that great cuz one of the branches is obstructing the osprey's head. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move just a teeny bit to the left. Just a teeny tiny little bit. That way you can see her full plumage. That's right. Yeah, I want to make sure that I can see her good. Because <laughs> I really like you, Osprey. <laughs> I really like this Osprey. This is 
This is great to be able to see this osprey right here, like not too far from me. She's very content. Let me let me just do this quick. Look, I'm gonna zoom out, okay? And so I'm gonna not switch the most content spots. Raptor I've ever seen now. And of course, that you I get can to tell see you how far away I am from the nest. I mean, you already saw it before. I'm really not far at all. Okay, so but if I get any closer, you won't be able to see the osprey. Right? Oh. I need to switch places. I think okay. about right here. That sounds okay, so it's okay, osprey. So for some odd reason, okay. this osprey just started to make calls at so. me. Why do you want to make calls at me for? What I do to you? Oops. I think. Hang up. There we go. That's as good as I'm going to get for now. All right, I don't want to try to get any close. Well, I could try to get a little bit closer here. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Yeah. I hear a red-shouldered hawk calling in the background, so maybe the osprey's just concerned about the hawk. It's okay, osprey. Don't be flying away from me. Okay. I'm going to just play a game on my phone while I'm filming that osprey. Okay.
I can also see three black vultures. There's two standing next to each other on one tall light stand, and then there's one single vulture standing on the light stand that's next to it. But I'm not going to bother filming them. Because I worked very hard just to be filming this osprey. I don't want to lose any footage. I always have difficulty when this osprey just looks at me. <laughs> She's looking at me. I'll try not to look at her too much. I'll just try to just look at my phone. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go check behind the osprey way quick. Um, as soon as the osprey wasn't looking at me, as soon as I spoke, she looked at she looked at me. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna see if she's in fact sitting in the nest. So I'll be right back. And I hope this osprey doesn't fly off from me doing that.
There we go. Yeah, so that Osprey's doing great, yep. Okay, all right, I'm gonna stop this recording now and you can just continue watching on this camera. Okay, so I had to start another recording because I've hit the allotted time for a recording, which is only 29 minutes. So there is the Osprey. She's looking great. I gotta put more bug spray on, man. Mm-mm. 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 Hang on, I'll be right back.
Yeah, I think this mound of soil is like Mosquito Haven. <laughs> this mound of soil is like Mosquito Haven, so I think I'm going to end up moving to where the sidewalk is. Continue filming the osprey, but I don't know if the uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see the osprey very good from that angle. But yeah, I did find out that the osprey is in fact sitting in the nest, or at least she's standing in such a way that I'm just not able to see her all the way. Like I can't see her full body; I can only see her chest and her head. That's it. Anyways, I'm going to continue playing my game on my phone and then in maybe like 10 minutes I'll change to a different angle.
Is he gonna go? Is he gonna fly off? Oh no, don't. Okay, use the restroom. And he's gonna fly off. Oh no. So now what's going on, huh? So, decides to go a little bit deeper in the nest. Now, I'm, I, I did not make him do that. <laughs> He did that completely on his own. So what's going on now? Yeah, sorry the angle isn't so great. I wish it was a little bit better. Um, but hey, what you gonna do, you know? Can't. Sometimes there's some things you just can't control in the videos, and that's just one of the things. Um, so what exactly happened that made him want to hide in the nest? Hmm, can't seem to figure it out. There must be something nearby, possibly. Or he just wanted to change spot, or she, she just wanted to change spots. I know, obviously, this is the female. Right, yes, this is the female, yeah. Oh man, she's like way deep in the nest. Oh, I wish she could just hang out with me. How come this osprey doesn't want to hang out with me? It's okay, don't be scared. Hmm. Yeah, you can just barely see her head. She just doesn't want to see me. She just I don't care about anything. There's gotta be a reason why she's hiding in the nest. I just need to figure out why. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely need to change my angling of this because this isn't working. It, it could be because the mosquitoes, this mosquitoes could have an effect on that because I'm sure they do make it into, you know, near her nest. So I saw a vulture just fly over. Okay, I'm definitely changing spots because this isn't working. The angling's not working. Now, um, I could, what what could I do? So I could go to where I was initially going to film the Osprey anyways. So we'll see how that works. Oh boy, I like this. Mm. Alright, time to zoom out. Yep, I'm definitely changing spots. Alright, so this isn't working. That gives you a good idea where I'm at here. 
So you can't even, see, you can barely even see the osprey's head, but sometimes she just wants to be deeper in the nest. So like I said, pretty much going to stay at the same distance, but I'm just kind of going to circle around, but not even circle around, but rather, I think, I think right here is good. Yeah, I'm going to, right here, right here. This is a hot spot right here. I found a hot spot. Get it? A hot spot. Okay, um, oh boy. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting the right position here. Is this good enough? Is this good? No. This isn't working. No, no, no. This isn't good enough. That angle's not good enough. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I mean, she's peeking her head out, but when she turns her head, it's going to be hard to see her. Hmm. Okay. Back to the drawing board. It's all right. There is always a way we can do this. We, we can always make this work out somehow. Okay, as far as the other nest goes, you can take a look at this other nest here and you can see it from all the way over here. And as you can see, there's no osprey in that nest. Do you see any head poking out or nothing? Oh wait. There is an osprey that just flew in. So yeah, they always come like late in the day usually. Because that's when it's the most quiet in the nest. Crap. It's okay, osprey. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay, osprey. There's, though, the osprey just flew off. So what's going on now? It's okay, Osprey. It's all right. So that must be why she moved. I just kind of forgot that there's cars that sometimes drive on this road. Oh boy. Didn't really think of that, but it's okay. Yes, yeah, so the osprey is kind of coming and going from that other nest. Oh yeah, both Osprey are there now. Yeah, he just arrived. See, take a look. No!
Okay, so everything is going good at the nest. She's communicating with with the male osprey. So that's good. So what's going on here? Just curious to know is she's like looking down at something. Maybe she's did she start incubating already? I'm not exactly sure. All right, let me go back to my original spot way quick. All right, hang on. Let me go back to my original spot way quick, all right? I think that would be a better angle to go at. Okay, so. Hang on a second. <laughs> I'm just switching my angling here. I gotta switch to another angle. <laughs> Why did you come over here? Why did I come over here yeah. to film the Osprey? Do you live near here? I do. I live here in St. Mary's. That's um, like maybe like a mile from here. Oh, okay. And then I went to St. Mary's Lake and I saw an osprey nest on that light pole over there. And then this year I saw two new osprey nests being built for the first time. And um, this was the first of the two. This was the first nest. And then the second new nest is actually on the light pole that's closest to the lake. The St. Mary's Lake. The one you first saw. That's oh, right. There two there's there? two nests at oh. St. Mary's Lake. There's two nests over there and there's one nest over here. This nest was just built a few weeks ago. And then the other nest that's actually maybe not a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago. And then the nest that's over there that's not not on that light pole but the but the one that you can't see, which is the one closest to the lake. That one was just built a couple weeks ago. Oh. Huh. I saw the male osprey on a tree, but he kept flying away from me. He didn't let me film him. <laughs> How do you tell the male and the female part? The male and the female. The female has more brown markings on the chest. Also, the female is larger than the male. Ma um, female birds are always larger than their male counterparts. And what else is there to note about them? Well, the female is usually the one that's protecting the nest. So the male is the one that does more hunting than the female. So if you see the female by herself, like you know it's the female. <laughs> are, they, are they speaking now? They're, they're, uh, those are, are there? Is that those are, presence? Those are begging calls. Oh, no, no, no. no they're yeah. not, they're, she's not fearing me at all. Well, there's both of them are up there now, right? She just started calling as soon as the mail arrived. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've always thought that they were making um, territorial calls at me. Yeah. There was, when I visited that nest for the first time, that nest behind you there, Yeah. I was using a drone one time. It was just a tiny little drone. Uh-huh. And I was just kind of flying it up and about, and the Osprey was perfectly cool with it, wasn't making calls. But then my drone was like messing up. I was using like one of those little cheap drones. They're only like this big. Uh -huh. I mean, it was like a real tiny one. And I couldn't seem to get the controls to work and it was like flipping upside down. <laughs> so I wasn't able to do it. And then I started walking towards it and it's my movement that ended up making the Osprey make territorial calls at me. And I just kept saying, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just grabbing my drone, that's all I'm doing. So I was just grabbing my drone way quick and then coming back to my camera. Now, the osprey, don't they often return to the same breeding location? They always do. They, they always stay do. true. They stay true to their nest. Uh -huh. As so, a matter of fact, they stay so true to their nest that even if another male, like a different male comes, like they'll think it's their male and they'll end up mating together. Oh, wow. Like if, like, let's just say the male doesn't come back for a while, maybe he's late to the nest, mm -hmm. 
and then some other male comes around, I think, now I'm not, I'm not like 100% sure about this, they'll, they'll stay together and then they'll just keep permanently breeding together. What if the other male arrives? And then that other male will end up just having to find a new mate then. Oh, wow. Well, but usually they stay, they, they stay, they're monogamous, mm -hmm. which means that they always stay with the same male their entire lives. Mm -hmm. So they know like when to come back to the nest, when they should be returned to the nest. I mean, the only thing that could prevent them from coming back within a certain amount of time is the weather. You know, if it could get extremely windy and maybe they're just not able to migrate back in time mm -hmm. because, of the, because of the weather conditions are just too extreme. Right. Or there could be hurricanes that, that pre ha prevent them from coming back too. Because don't forget that when they migrate, they migrate far south. Right. All birds fly, fly south for the winter. Right. So when these birds migrate, they go all the way to South America. They travel 5,000 miles right. when they migrate. They travel farther than any other bird. Really? I, there's no other bird that travels further than the osprey. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. Well, so, so then what to make of new nests then? Is it a, is it a youthful female? Or why would they create if, a new nest? If you see the osprey's eyes, you'll notice that they're orange. Uh -huh. It actually takes a few years for them to get their yellow color. It is possible that she could be like four, I'd say four years old uh -huh. or so. Because it takes that long for them to reach maturity. Oh, okay. So that's when they'll be able to start producing nestlings is at their fourth year. So if their eyes are yellow, then that means they've been at the nest for a while. Oh, okay. This one's are orange? This one's orange, yeah. And so the male is actually older than this osprey because the male has all yellow eyes. Oh. Man, you know a lot about osprey. Well, I know a lot about raptors. I love raptors. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, I more than just love them. I totally adore them. Yeah. <laughs> to tell you the truth. Yeah. And I actually want to become a falconer one day uh -huh. and raise a red-tailed hawk of my very own. Stopped. Oh no, I lost the footage. I don't know how long my rec my recording was stopped. Uh. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, they're mating. Oh my god, they're mating. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're mating. That is beautiful. Wow. That's the male? That is beautiful. Yes, it's the male that's always on top of the female. Yeah, well, yeah. Wow. White chest. Wow. White breasted. Yes, the male has all white breast. Yes. That's how you can tell that's the male. Yeah, so it's easy to tell them apart. Now, sometimes the males do have some brown plumage. I know those two osprey that are at that nest, you can't, you can't tell them apart at all. Like, I looked at the two side by side, and they seem to have the same amount of brown plumage. That osprey actually found a new mate. Yeah. Last year, the male had like all white plumage, just like this one uh -huh. does. But sadly, he hasn't returned, so she had to find a new mate. And then there's a new male with all white plumage. I don't think it's the same male though. But he decided, he he's the one that built that third nest that's closest to the lake. So with orange eyes, is she in, incapable of uh, laying an egg, producing an egg? That's what I've asked myself. Uh -huh. Because it does take four years for them to reach maturity. It takes the same amount of time for them to get yellow eyes. But I did see a video on YouTube of a pair of Cooper's hawks. And one was a juvenile, one was adult. And it didn't have even have the full plumage. Didn't even have the full adult plumage yet. Because their plumage changes colors. And this, this guy that lives in Washington, his username is Sheep Rugly. Hey, hey, I'm Jeremy. I, I know, I know, you're gonna have difficulty remembering no, that. I, I know you've said no, but no, he's. I don't want, I don't want any more because you've shared such welcome information. I appreciate it. Is your YouTube J the J H? Yeah, my videos are extremely long, so I mean, you can skim through if you'd like. Um, some of my videos are like a half hour to an hour long, but I also post them on Facebook too. I'm not leaving because I'm uninterested. I'm leaving because these damn gnats. Oh, good. Okay, that's fine. We can talk later. It's fine. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you, Jeremy. I'm Brian. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too, Brian. We'll talk later. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And you're... You're... Yeah. Oh. Definitely wear plenty of them. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't want mm. All right, so yeah, so everything's good with these Osprey right now. So basically, uh, to kind of recap of what's going on here, I've, I've kind of wondered about the Osprey having the orange eyes and wondering if they're capable of producing nestlings. I believe so. I mean, they were looking at something in the nest. So I would think that what they were looking at is the eggs. I mean, maybe maybe she has... No, wait, that, that doesn't seem right. Why would they be mating with each other still? <laughs> that doesn't make no sense. Yeah, what was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking by saying that? Just forget that I said that. All right, so... Um... Yes, I just can't believe it. Wow. They were both mating again. <laughs> oh, man. I need to tell my grandma way quick.
Okay, so, so far so good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna change positions yet again, okay? Because... I mean... I just don't really like this angle all that much. It's okay. Okay, so let's, uh, let's switch, switch angles here. I'm going to switch shop again. Okay. Alright. I don't know what's going to happen here, but I'm... Crap, I lost one of my propellers of my drone. I don't know where it went to. Yeah, there were cheap there were cheap parts anyways. I couldn't I couldn't seem to twist it on for some odd reason. But anyways, let's let's zoom out. Okay, okay, now I'm gonna go. Where am I gonna go now? Okay, so I'm gonna switch positions. Oh, you know what? Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think here is actually good. Now, actually, is here good? No. Right here, no. Cooperate with me, Osprey. Just let me pick a good spot for you. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright. Oh wow, this is great. This is... I like this angle right here. This is great. This might be a good spot. Okay. This is as good as I'm gonna get. This is it. Okay. So I'm gonna keep on doing my thing. so bad. Like, man.
How's the right. wind working out for you up there? How's the wind? Yeah. Um, I guess the wind's okay, just the mosquitoes are yeah. really bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course. So you take a picture of them while you're flying? So this is an osprey right here. Oh. Um, do I take pictures of her? Well, I make videos of them. So there was actually a male osprey over where those trees are, uh -huh. and he's building a new nest. And um, just wait quick, I just want to let you know that uh, that, that nest is right next to the lake. You could let you could pull, pull over and let him pass. Pull over and let him pass. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the I, I haven't seen the female at that nest yet. I only saw the male. The difference between male and females: the male has all white on their chest, uh -huh. and the female has mostly brown on their chest. Okay. And the females are also larger I've never too. Seen them up close. I've seen a bunch of, but never up close. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know where the female is, I, and if he maybe he hasn't found a mate yet. There is that possibility. But I did, by the way, speaking of which, I did see the male osprey mating with this female. Like he was like right on top of her, mm -hmm. doing his thing there. And this was like maybe like ten minutes ago, and then he flew off that way somewhere. Wow. But she's been there like for like at least an hour or so, or at least as long as I've been here. Wow. And she's she was kind of sitting in the nest a little bit, and then she just now kind of peeked out of the nest a little so bit, so I can see her a little bit better now. Have you taken the drone up there? Huh? Have you flown the drone up there close to her? Oh, no. I'm going to wait a little while for that. I'm going <laughs> to wait for her to get used to it first. To, well, he's got the camera out, and I, could, I didn't see the Osprey. This drone but doesn't even... Drone, so what's he doing? This drone doesn't even have a camera, as you can see, the, hey, the camera uh -oh. isn't attached to it. But, Crash and burn. But it is functional. I yeah. just turn it on and every, everything what works. What brand is that? Although the, the other propeller fell off. But those are cheap. Those are only like a couple cheap, dollars. Yeah. Um, where did I get this? Oh yeah, this is a DJI <laughs> Phantom okay. 3. It's like one of the high-end drones. Like these drones are like a thousand dollars, but oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't pay a thousand dollars for this drone. I I only paid like I think a hundred and fifty dollars yeah. or something like you that. You've used all day long. I saw one the other day. I was re watching something, and it was almost military grade. It was like five thousand dollars. I know, and right? I'm like, Whoa. Yeah, I'm not willing to pay that much. No, I mean, I, you know, they're, they're like cell phones. It, it, the quality of the camera is the key, you know. Because a lot of yeah. them have tremendous cameras with a gimbal and all that, you know. The, the camera that comes on here is a 2K camera, yeah. I think. So it's pretty good, but not, you know, not spectacular, well, <laughs> you know. Some of the cheap ones are even coming with gimbals and 4K cameras. Now. Yeah. And you got so many different companies making them. And so it's a, it's a big market out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, my grand, I've got one at the house with my grandsons, and it's about, you know, this small. It's all these like, $30 jobs, but it's still pretty cool. But, yeah, it doesn't have, a, it doesn't have a GPS or anything, you know. Right. Um, definitely this does have a return need, function, which is good. Return home. Yeah, return home function is cool. Right. And you got this, you know, with GPS and stabilizer, because some of the, I've, I've, I've watched some of the scenes on, on Facebook and YouTube where a guy be flying it, and he'll lose connection and it just takes off. It's gone. He just loses the signal. I'm like, whoa. But if you get on, if you get on there, and I don't care how much experience you've had, if you do, you know, keep your options open for GPS return home and all that. Because, <laughs> you know, it's just a push of a button to, to go from one to the other. So once you get. And they, automa they usually automatically return home, like if you lose the signal. Exactly. Because yeah. if you can't control the drone, then the don't. drone is just going to keep going. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of these things, the guy's, he's a mile away and the thing comes home when it gets low on battery and stuff. So I thought, yeah, that's cool. Right, and exactly. You've got to pay for those features, but there's more and more of the inexpensive ones are having all those features on them. Yeah. I just wait for the prices to come way down where I get me <laughs> Right. <laughs> I've used, like, the cheaper drones that yeah. are, like, this yeah. small. Tension but they're target. like very like hard to control they can they the, because the wind just really affects them. Yeah, when you can hook them up to your, you know, get onto the, the app and have your cell phone, you know, take your pictures and all that stuff and you know, plug your SD card into it and all that, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to get them where I can go up, you know, you know two or three hundred feet high. And, Right. Some of them have an app where you can actually record on your phone, but the right. only thing is I don't think there's audio. 
in the, it's not. In Most the, of them in the are not camera. It's the only draw the, downside. A lot of them you have to move the drone in order for it to work, and whereas some of the other ones have gimbal, you can sit, sit still in the mm -hmm. stabilizer, and even if the wind's blowing, then the, the, then the image is really smooth. I've seen some of them with the, you know, the quality is just out of this world. I know. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's certainly so, get, you can certainly get a better angle of the nest if you yeah. use the drone from like straight, you know, from a horizontal angle well, rather than rather than a vertical it, angle it'd like be this. So cool to go up there and get real close to it. Be nice to it. Yeah, one Lord thing that I that. my main my main purpose of using this drone, believe it or not, you're probably not going to believe this, but I actually plan on putting the fish just like this on the drone. Really? So to how to get it to release the fish, what I would do is I would immediately jerk the control to the left and uh -huh. to the right. And then if I do that, it's, it should release the fish huh. from the bottom of this. And then I'll be able to feed one of these ospreys. That'd be cool. That would be, that would be something worth documenting right there. Yeah. You could write an article about that. That'd be neat. Although, you know, it would be nice Facebook if I had a camera design. too. That way I'd be yeah. able to film them eating the fish That'd with my drone. On, on film. Because it would be hard to see that from this, because their nest is thick, you know, yeah. their nest is deep, so you, right. you're only going to be able to see, like, their head poking out of the nest if they're actually sitting in the nest. She's standing, like, on the outside. She's sitting on the outside of the nest right now. Wouldn't that be cool, though, to get up there and get an image of him, of her, yeah, straight down into the nest? That would be cool. That'd be neat. I guess there are got to be a lot of guys. Look at the, Look at the famous photographers, especially bird guys, in the world now that are probably using drones. Yeah, I mean, I see, I see them on that. YouTube, like, all the time. Like, yeah. you look up drone footage or, mm -hmm. or nest footage with drones, like, you can, like, they're all over YouTube. I saw one the other <laughs> day where a guy was, they were in the, uh, uh, he was doing, where were the Galapagos Islands, and they were doing, uh, and then someone else was doing penguins. But they were using the drones to get real close to the penguins and, and, and the Komodo dragons. I mean, there's, National Geographic's probably got all kinds of stuff like that now. I know. And because I haven't read one of those things in you years. You get aerial, aerial footage. Like, aerial footage yeah, is like yeah. the thing now. I mean, it's, it's, the sky's the limit. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. There's, sky's well, there's the limit. A, there's, a, there's a gal around here that does real estate, and she does all kinds of pictures in downtown St. Mary's. and and right down there at the waterfront, a couple hundred feet up, and out into the river and all that stuff. Uh-huh. You know, but now, these things are great for real estate. <laughs> I know, right? That's a money maker right yeah, there, yeah. those yeah, drones. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> you can go out and buy a really good one and pay for it for your business, you know? I mean, write it off. Well, let me get her home. Okay, all right, take care. And don't forget, I do have a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. It's just J the JH. So it's the letter J, yeah. the word the, J-H, that's it. Those are my initials, J-H. Yeah. You have to check that out, dude. Or you can just type in Ospreys of St. Mary's. Yeah. If you type in those words on the YouTube search, yeah. my videos are the only videos that are going to come up because I'm the only person that's filmed yeah. these Ospreys so far. Well, that was just, when I, as soon as we pulled in, I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> I said, there's nothing up there. <laughs> Oh, there is, yeah. Sometimes she's just hiding in the nest, so you just can't see her from that angle. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah, all right, Check take care. Nice yeah. Oh, she's still moving there. Oh, yeah, she'll be there. Oh, yeah, she'll be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the only thing about my drone is I'm missing one of the propellers. I need to buy more propellers because it fell down somewhere. Let me see if I can go find it way quick. I hope this Osprey is okay with me. I'm looking for it way quick.
it's okay. I can always buy more propellers. They're dirt cheap. They're like two dollars. It's really nothing. But I do know one thing is I gotta be cheap. Because I'm losing like five thousand dollars in the stock market right now. Probably more. So I really need to focus on trying to get my account balance in order. Otherwise I'm going to be too far into my margin, which I don't want to happen. There's no way this Osprey is going to roost here. I don't see that happening. But you never know. And maybe she'll stay. Maybe she'll stay here. Or maybe she won't. It's up to her. It's her decision. These mosquitoes are getting horrible. Mm. Oh, I'm losing focus. Hang on, I need to go to a different mode here. Can I still... Oh, crap, that's not good enough. Nope. 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 Oh, crap. Hang on, let me fix this. Dang it. Nope, nope, nope. Mmm, that's still not good enough. The focus still is crap. Oh man, these mosquitoes are terrible. Mmm. I think that's as good as I'm going to get for the focus. I think so. Uh. I think that's it. That's good. The focus is good now. That's as good as I'm going to get. Mm. There we go. That's good. Okay. Sadly, that's as good as I'm going to get. Mm. I gotta stay there the whole time. I just wanna see her stay there.
All right, I'm going home, Osprey. I'm going to see you tomorrow, possibly. Or maybe next week. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'll be seeing ya, okay? I'm leaving. Until next time, I will see you later. Take care, everybody. I guess the Osprey is gonna roost there after all, I think. I'm not really gonna stay and find out now. All right, so I'm gonna put all my stuff in here. All right, let me stop this recording way quick. All right, went over to see the Osprey nest way quick, and as you can see, the Osprey is actually there right now. So yeah, there he is, or there she is, sorry. Yeah, so there's the Osprey right there, as you can see. And she's making calls, but I don't know if I see the mail over there. Is the mail over there? Let me just go check and see right quick. Okay, so yeah, the female is right there, as you can see, standing right in the nest. I didn't bring my camera with me, so I'm using my iPhone right now. And... Oh, and there's, there's the, the male. The male is right there. Yeah, see? So there you go. See? The male is right there. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so, yeah, she did actually roost. She roosted in the nest. That's great. <laughs> so I didn't miss a thing. Yeah, I just want to check up on them. Just to make sure they were okay. Well, I'm going home now. It's 7.30 in the morning right now. And I need to get going to bed so that I can do some things later. I might go to Fernando Beach today, or I might go visit the Osprey. I don't know what I'm going to do. Depends on when I wake up. So that's the plan. Alright, I'll be seeing ya. Take care, everybody.